Welcome back. Well, if you've been thinking about going to Papua New Guinea, if that is on your radar, look no further than Best of PNG. I'm here with Christopher, and I tell you what, this is going to be an experience of a lifetime. And you really have a lot of experience to be able to give our viewers out there something they're going to be able to tell their children and grandchildren about year after year. Tell us a little bit about Best of PNG. Hi, Bill. Um, Best of PNG started. 10 years ago when I first went to Papua New Guinea as a dive journalist. Um, I went to check out the different dive resorts there around the country, but I centered my whole trip around this one event called the Garoka Highlands Cultural Festival. I'd seen some pictures of it years and years before of this sort of thing. Um, and I went there and I fell in love with it. It was the diving, you know, I've, I've dived around the world as an underwater photo journalist and the diving in Papua New Guinea is hands down the best coral reef diving I've done anywhere in terms of biodiversity, in terms of visibility, um, in terms of different types of dive sites, um, big fish, small fish, sharks and nobody else goes there. You, you're never going to be bothered by another dive boat on any of these sites. You can dive in four different bodies of water um, and see some amazing underwater stuff. Now in addition to the stunning uh, fish that you're going to see this is also a really cool cultural experience as well, isn't it? As I don't know, as cultural experiences go, it's mind blowing. The, particularly in September, the Garoka Festival is quite well known. Um, it's been going on since 1959. It's a, a, a local festival organised by the local people for the local people. About 20,000 local people turn up each day to see approximately two and a half thousand local performers and we were about 350 to 400 international visitors who were very privileged to be able to attend and, and, and watch it. I've been going there every year for the last 10 years. Every year excites me. It's in September, I've just come back from it. I can't wait to go again. Every client I take there just has their mind blown by. I don't like to over oversell things really, but this festival is just unbelievable. If you, get, if you don't find that festival amazing, it's like time to stop living really. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a very immersive cultural experience, and with all of those, uh, you know, native people actually showing you their culture, there's no better way to be able to become immersed in a culture. It, it is a, an incredible event, and it's not the only one of the year. Papua New Guinea has, um, depending on how you classify a language, anything between 800 and 1,000 different languages for about 7 million people. So it's linguistically the most diverse and culturally the most diverse country in the world, I would say. Um, and we organise trips to different parts of the country throughout the year uh, to give people different experiences. You can go and spend some time staying with some Highlands tribes, uh, the Asaro Mudmen, for example, uh, or you can go down and stay in the coastal regions and outrig a canoe from, from one village to another over three or four days, staying in a different village each time. We also arrange trips right up into the north of the country into an area called the Sepik, which is a little bit like the Amazon, but with no tourists. I mean. If you do like a, a, a three or four day Sepik river expedition, very unlikely that you'll, you'll, you'll meet another tourist when you're on the river. And you stay in local guest houses with local people, you visit their cultures. It is really the, the last frontier. A lot of these um, tribes, uh, Christianity has reached Papua New Guinea, um, obviously, but a lot of the tribes still you know, worship their old gods and carry out their old practices. Um, and there's some amazing sights to, to be seen there. Well, you know, it sounds like a once-in-a-lifetime adventure, but as great as it is, I think I may want to come back year two and three and four because it will be a different adventure each time. The, the slogan of the Papua New Guinea Marketing Board is the land of a million different journeys. Um, and, yeah, we, you know, people, it's quite a... a can be quite a big budget trip um, for some people that makes it a trip of a lifetime but there's so many different places to dive and so many different things to do a lot of clients go back uh, even if they're coming from the other side of the world once they've been once you've been bitten by the Papua New Guinea bug it's it's really difficult to shake it and people just yeah, keep coming back it's such a fantastic destination well, Christopher, we certainly have a very cultural, immersive experience, stunning underwater encounters. And with that said, right now, I know everybody's going to want to learn more about the best of PNG. What's the best way for them to do so? Um, they could look at our website, www.bestofpng.com, um, and then 
get in contact with us through the website via email and then we can talk over the phone because even within the, the like the diving um, resorts and destinations within the country there are only a, a handful there are half a dozen places to go diving in Papua New Guinea but each one of them is slightly different has its different specificities in terms of what you can see underwater some places are amazing for World War II plane wrecks others have uh, different types of critters that are on some people's sort of tick lists so it's best to really get in contact and, and have a, a conversation over the phone or at least via email so we can really work out what people want and put together the best tailor-made package for them. Well this is very exciting. Christopher thank you for being on. Thank you very much for having us Bill.